Hold on, let me take the headphones out. Look at what one of my supporters got me. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I can't wait to play this, I'm so excited. I've never played Zelda before, ever, which is why it was on the list. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Got me a whole Switch game as well as two toys. <sighs> so it's, it's a lot of transitioning going on right now. I made a big decision moving to look out for somebody who said they were ready they were not ready and now i uprooted my thing i uprooted what i had going on and once again it's the holidays and i'm just all over the place but i'm back at my fam's temporarily not here to move back in oh my hair looks dusty we gonna wash it today i'm about to go hop in the bath as we speak i'm in awe i'm in awe and it put a lot of stuff into perspective because it's like listen i love and care about people but i'm not babysitting i'm not babysitting my squad i'm telling y'all i'm not babysitting if y'all ain't on top of it you're just not invited it's that simple and it comes a point where if you are always holding somebody down if you're always looking out at the cost of your happiness your peace your bag if you are deep in your pockets for somebody else and other people who don't barely know you people who've seen you a couple times met you a couple times and they just love your vibe are doing things like this are doing things like last night my whole i have a whole pad thai takeout right now like and a bottle of sake you got people doing stuff like that it really just puts everything into perspective and it's not a competition it's not about pitting people against each other it's about setting your standards and sticking with them for sure platonically intimately if you're dating friends whatever like I feel like people will sit here and mess up what you have going for yourself and turn around and be like, oh, well, darn, figure it out. I had another friend. I'm not going to get too much into it, but we were supposed to have plans for all of December for like traveling, splitting the cost. They just bailed. They were talking big talk about, oh, yeah, we can go here. We could be on an island. We could go there. We could just get away. Completely disappeared. Completely disappeared knowing my situation. And like I said, it's nobody's fault. Um, it's up to me. I'm the one who uprooted myself for other people who were not serious twice in a row and you know what it's it's okay i don't know if this is like some weird payback whatever it is but if people are gonna act like this then that's fine i'm gonna my business i'm so excited oh my god <laughs> but yeah so i got zelda and i was taken out on a very lovely day yesterday like they was about to sacrifice their parking spot just so i could come park and take their spot for me i did i parked somewhere else and i walked and they met me but like but yeah, I'm just at a point where I'm not accepting less anymore. You show up and show out with me or without me. <laughs> That's all it is because I have strangers and people close to me doing more for me without ulterior motives. That's the best part, without ulterior motives than the people around me have thinking, oh, well, I'll get something later or I could cash in on this favor. I feel blessed, I feel so blessed. I'm not accepting anything less anymore i'm not accepting people who constantly bail people who don't take my time are feeling seriously i'm not accepting any of it i'm not we're happy over here and it's so crazy and so coincidental that now that i've been cutting out unsure or sketchy energy out my life people bailing people not being serious about stuff people wasting your time people being indecisive people seeming to get in the way of you or trying to stop the plans that you suggest even little stuff like that now that i've been cutting that out my life more and ignoring the pettiness ignoring whatever drama or shade is trying to be created or whatever tea is trying to be spilled i'm actually finding peace like i kid you not i'm finding peace i'm about to get back to myself and start just living i've already been living but i'm about to be living I, I nobody else is on the radar except for the people i love and care about and the ones who love me back so yeah let me go wash my hair y'all i'm so excited and don't get me wrong i'm not saying i've never been that person who couldn't show up or couldn't make it but communication goes a long way and just keep it real with me keep it honest i've had people tell me things and i panic so i jump and there was no reason to i've had people get me excited about things or i was already on the road to predetermined plans just to have them cancel while i was on the way all i'm saying is just give your girl a heads up please please consider my time and don't waste my effort and energy i've had enthusiastic interactions where people are excited to link and then you're on the way or show up and they make no effort or they just 
just bail. And I just think some people just want to see how far you're willing to go for them, and that's just not cool. But anyways, I've been extremely careful of where I spend my time now, and it's been paying off in more ways than one. Currently in limbo because a lot of pressure got put on me for the housing situation again. And that's the thing too, it's taking time away from things I need to be doing. So I'm getting stressed out and dealing with a lot of pressure because I'm behind schedule because I'm doing other people's homework while they're out at recess. We've already had this talk, y'all. But yeah, let me go wash my hair. I got Zelda in the pocket. I got Zelda in the pocket. <laughs> All right, bye, y'all. Also, full disclaimer, like, pretty much everybody already knows I make content with my ex. Like, it's not a secret. I know I said I just went on a date and somebody just sent me like a whole gift, which is the second time this has happened. Somebody sent me a book off my wish list. So I was really grateful for that. But everybody knows. I have people on my cam sites being like, oh my God, he's so lucky. This is that and a third. And that's not to sit here and hype myself up and boost myself up. But it's like if somebody who doesn't get to touch you is willing to do this much, to be this invested, to see you happy. You really start to look at what you went through with somebody and question the standards of what you're willing to put up with. And you can get so lost real quick because you're like, oh, well, things are good right now. But you have to remember how they used to be. And I had a good friend tell me, I'm so glad I have some outside input too, outside genuine input. I had a good friend tell me, they were like, you know what? If that person was in a better position right now, they probably would be treating you way different. And I was like, yeah, you're probably right. No, you, you right, <laughs> you right. <laughs> They're acting this way because they don't need you, but they kind of need you. And that sucks. That sucks because I know for a fact if somebody's situation was much better, I feel like the energy would have been like last year where I felt like I was losing my motherfucking mind. On the verge, on the verge of very bad thoughts and things. So um, that's something to remember. But everybody does know it's not like a sneaky type of thing. Um, I don't want y'all to think I'm out here just messy like, oh, she going on dates, she making content over here, she doing this. Now everybody know. Everybody know. It's the fact that people still know and they still treat me so well. I don't know if it's the steal your girl type energy or if it's just like a let me get your attention, but I love it. <laughs> and I'm really grateful because nobody has to do anything. They don't have to spend a dime on me. Nobody has to spend a single dollar on me. Nobody has to pay me any mind or time and they do. So. I want to perform and be genuine right back and make other people feel good. So, damn, I need to go wash my hair. Oh my gosh. Sheesh. It's been a braid, y'all. But yeah, I'm going to go sort some stuff out. Um, This person thought I was going to be chilling with them all of December, and I thought so too. But I kind of like stepped back to look at the situation, and I was like, you know, it's crazy because we could have been living together. We could have been living together, my boy. Um, <laughs> and here we are again, me in uncomfortable environments yet again to come see you because you didn't want to get things together with me before. It's no, no, we're not doing this anymore. It's about to be the new year. No, no, it's so easy to get caught up. And then you look and you're like, why am I still doing this? But yeah, y'all, that's all I wanted to say. Um, Welcome to the winter vlog. No more breakdowns. Like, I'm just trying to build at this point. No more breakdowns. <laughs> but what's up, y'all? I want to officially welcome y'all to the winter vlogs. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, Because it's December and the fall vlogs are over. There's plenty of content. Y'all have probably already seen for that. So, yeah. Here we are. Um, Like I said, today's a self-care day. I'm going to edit. Do my work. Not nobody else's work. I'm gonna do my work, okay? Because I could be pushing out stuff so much faster at my convenience and comfort, but I'm not. I'm working on other people's work, okay? I got Zelda. I'm the proud owner of a Zelda game. I'm so excited. Thank you again, baby. <clears throat> I feel so comfortable in my own skin these days. I love it. Ooh. Why don't you wear your hair natural? Well, this is old for the natural state, but y'all don't want to see that, right? Y'all want to see the cute afro. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> this is also natural. I know I need to do something with it, but we about to go do something now. We love the growth, we love to see it.
<laughs> okay, bye. These can't all be hair vlogs. I mean, they could, but it's their vlogs about growth. And I like to grow in all types of different ways, including my hair. So, overall growth. We interrupt the end of this video to let y'all know that wish lists are not safe. Please listen to me if you didn't know this already because I found this out. You're going to see me reference this in a future vlog. However, I'm working on this video right now and I wanted to tell anybody who might have a wish list out there, they are not safe. Thankfully, a girl be all over the place, so I don't think anybody will ever really know where I'm at in the moment. And also the fact that um, I use different information for stuff, but if you don't, please know that wish lists do expose part of your information. And if you are trying to hide the information or you forgot to change your name or whatever it might be just know that could be exposed stay safe bye